Okay, continue where we just stopped at. Yeah, we're still on the, uh, you know, the Blue Meanies versus the Mongols. Ah, there's that fake Mongol again. Seriously, can someone, if it's someone ever got to see these films, can't there be a meme of this? I'm just saying, this, this dude is begging for a meme. Oh yeah, so that dude just warns them about the Blue Meanies invading. And now there's going to be an attack. Well, charge! You know, fighting. Huh, looks like they're managing to beat down those Blue Meanies. You know, I am hoping to see the movies that these Mongols are from. Interesting using the footage of Mulan. You know, using like cannons or something. <laughs> I think you probably reacted like, wait, is that a flying hand? Did his eyes just change color? Man, that's a giant blue. Not enough to take down that hand. Huh, it's like a punch. Oh, uh, now there's bombs. Oh, they're all piled up. Yeah, piled up. Ooh. Now he's gone all bloodthirsty. I think he's always been bloodthirsty. Man. The cheap blue mini can't give one heck of a punch. <clears throat> it's like, oh, spare me, please, I'm just a humble mongoose. Thank. Oh, Necron is still around. I thought they might have killed him when he was captive. I, hey, I mean, it's what we all hoped for, wasn't it? Necron getting killed. I guess they just let him go, I guess. So the Blue Meanies wins, and now so the next fight is, uh... The Forces of the Wolf versus the Forces of... Drake. Yeah. So the Wolf and his main forces, you know, assistants are patrolling their borders. Where did the Fox get the alcohol? Really, you're just admiring yourself while boarding? Until Drake and his forces shows up. Ah, now it's gonna be a, a fight between evil animals lead by the wolf against the other evil animals lead by a muscular penguin. It's kinda silly, but it's a very interesting one. Now let's see this. Yeah, I'm just sort of watching that. <clears throat> hey, can someone leave me the link to where that cat elephant is from? Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of that fox, to be honest with you. That Charlotte's Web sequel was just bad. Huh, fight between two foxes. Uh, just jump her, push her to the river. Another fox. Beat down that fox. And just throw a bucket of water at need you. Rio, I think it's a good film. Not a, not a favorite of mine, but it is a good movie, to be honest with you. And it's good. Actually, it's kind of cool that you see him fighting against the hawk. Now, hold on. He be dead now. Did he survive or did he dead? <laughs> I like the fox is using a club on him. Like, take that, you ruffian! Boom! After he was just doing the charging. Oh, well, it's kind of silly to see that. 
It's been forever since I've seen Over the Hedge. I need to rewatch that film. Well, there are two movies I just, uh, rewatched. I had to rewatch that Tom and Jerry the Lost Dragon, and I got to rewatch Atlantis the Lost Empire. It's just, just for the nostalgia feeling. And. Oh, yeah, I had to rewatch the Box Trolls. Sorry, that just sounded random. It's like, well, I'm out of here. Just sort of watching. Hey, we. Whoa, okay, that's a bit graphic. Ah, so we're gonna see the wolf fighting against Drake. Now this should be interesting. Oh, he sees everyone is like some of them got killed. No, some of his own forces that I mean. Okay, looks like just the wolf, and that fox, and the elephant, and a few members left. And now he's all tangled up. Oh, okay, I mean, now it's interesting. A bear fight against the elephant. This should be interesting. Sorry, there's not much to say. I mean, the, the fight is good. The, the battle is good. Man, this fight is getting intense, isn't it? It's like, Drake just has enough. It's like, ha ha ha, in charge. Oh, now they're both going to charge at each other. Managed to beat down Drake. And Drake upper hands him. And Timber! The wolf pushed Drake off the cliff. Oh dear. And now they're being attacked by two dinosaurs. Rudy and Sharptooth. Oh, Drake, it's okay. Ouch. Pile of logs came out of nowhere. And Drake is now dead. And they're gonna run away from these two. I, if I saw any animals that are, you know, prehistoric... You know, prehistoric animals like Rudy or Sharptooth, I'd probably run away too. I've always did it, when I got to watch Blind Before Time, I always assumed that's actually his name, but no, they made it like it's an actual species. Which I kind of understand why the dinosaurs would give each other these weird names like Long Necks, Three Horns, and whatnot. But I only know Sharptooth as a T-Rex. Mostly. And Sarah is a Triceratop. And Pinkley is a Pterodactyl. So I just prefer to call them what they actually are instead of what they be go by in the films. Oh dear. Oh, and the bear is bear chowed. Oh, bad. So, yeah, we just saw what happened. 
So half of the wolf forces survived. So... Now for the epilogue. So after the humiliating b defeat by these animals... So... Yes, Dector and Shaw... Uh, hold on. Over in the alliance of Kano and Van Pelt. And then he summons this... Hold on. Then he summons this warrior, or uh, the most dangerous killer of Shao Kahn, Heidi Oshi. I don't think I got to know that character yet. I'm still on the level why I can't beat Shao Kahn. And then we see, uh, this fox is noticing that, uh, Lisavita is tired of depending on Mikal and just wants to go on her own. Really? Wanna go all rogue, ain't ya? And this shocks her, but she wants to tell the younger fox to keep it between them two. I guess this war is just too much for her and she just wants to go on her own, I guess. The lips are sealed. And then we see the wolf and some of his forces have survived from the... Yeah, the T-Rex attack. Hold on. Yeah, it survived from Drake's forces and the sudden attack of dinosaurs. Until they were noticed by the lion. Who... Actually wants to offer them... Jobs, you know, in his forces. Hold on. Considering that the predator could harm them, yeah, one of them was the wolves wanted to attack the lion, but the main wolf stopped him. Really? And then Shere Khan shows up. He's like, "Hey, what up, bro? I'm just a weirdo." Yeah, kind of interesting, we got these, you know, we got the forest animals teaming up with the actual jungle animals. Except the lion would be in Africa, and the tiger would be in Asia. But, eh. So, yeah, they get to join just to, because they're in a war against King Boo Boo, and that Shere Khan, who was actually from the live-action universe. Oh, and along with Soto, I guess. Hold on, I gotta make sure I don't mix it all that up. Okay, yeah. Enlist their alliance against Soto, Boo Boo, and the fake Shere Khan. I guess they all just, eh, sure, why not? Yeah, just sort of watching. And then we see King Boo Boo and Soto have arrived at Shere Khan's territory. And they get to meet that Shere Khan. Uh... You know, when looking back at my previous part of the commentary... I don't know why I said Mowgli's Brothers. It's not Mowgli's Brothers. I hope you guys have read the pen comment on there. It's Mowgli, Legend of the Jungle. I was just going to say Mowgli, and that's just it. But why the heck did I say Mowgli's Brothers? God, I'm such a dummy dumb. So King Boo Boo offers the uh, Bat Shere Khan be part of the alliance against the one who killed his father, King, you know, his dad, Kingo, that would be the lion. Wants to revenge, get revenge on the lion for killing his father, huh? And the, that's Zoya's multiple Shere Khan. I think I'm going to stop right here, so see you guys in the next part of this commentary.